that's highly sought after and very elusive. They're very hard to find unless you know what you're looking for. Uh, they say there are three things that propagate morels. Fallen trees, fire, and flood. So if you're looking for a place that has any of those three things would be a, a good place to look. Uh, right now, a lot of our ash trees are dying due to the emerald ash borer. So that's a really devastating thing. But on the plus side is that morels are often associated with ash trees. Also elm trees, apple trees, tulip poplars. Uh, so there's many species of trees, but those are kind of the top hitters. There are false morels, and you do have to be very, very careful. Um, some mushrooms are actually poison enough to, to kill you. Uh, here in Ohio, we don't have many uh, that poisonous to worry about but you do need to be very careful with what you're finding. Morels are very easy to identify if you know what you're looking for. It's really important when you find one that you cut it in the middle. If it's hollow in the middle, connected at the base, and has the typical shape of a morel, those are three ways that you can know for sure that you have a morel mushroom. Um, morels come in a variety of colors and it depends on the season. So the very first ones that pop up are black morels and some people think that those are the most tasty. Not only is it the first one that you found, uh, it also has a very strong flavor. The next ones that come up are grays, and then you have yellows, and then you have the Bigfoots. So that's the, the end of the season. If you find one Bigfoot, that's equivalent to 10 little ones. So that's my favorite. Last year, I found a Bigfoot. It was about 12 inches tall and too thick for my fingers to fit around the base. So they're truly big.